Today's adventure brings us to North Hollywood, California. Across the street from where I'm standing is the establishment of Barris Customs, where today they're having a garage sale of sorts. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. George Barris was the man responsible for not only the Batmobile, but also the Munster coach, and also from National Lampoon's vacation, the Queen family truckster, which I am a big fan of. I just kind of want to meander around the premises, hopefully get a view at some of the vehicles that he created. Wait a second, hold on. Cody? What's up, man? What are you doing here? I don't know really where I'm going with this. We planned this. Cody is visiting me from Florida. <laughs> we should have probably prepared a little bit better. Let's go check this place out. Let's go look. Let's go look. Join me. Let's see. And Cody. Shall you? Clearly, we were not the only ones with the same idea. There is a, a heck of a long line that's already formulating. Everyone wants the goods. I can't blame them. It's going to be some cool stuff in here. It appears as if the end of the line is there. That gives the perspective of the length, however. But I can wander over here and take a little bit better view of this mail vehicle with the emblem there. You got Uncle Sam and even this little postmaster down there. Oh, next to that unicycle that's mounted on the side it says zip code. And around back is a cool old US mail designation right there at the top of the vehicle. Not your typical front seat of what you'd see on a normal automobile. It's basically just two regular chairs like you'd see in an old timey kitchen. That's the driver's seat. Pretty interesting. Lots of posters out here under these little awnings to protect from the sun. And there's even some security they're keeping everything in order. Don't want anything to get unruly with all these Batman fans. Oh, and there's a there's a banner up here. The man himself, George Barris. He passed away a few years ago. And they're selling off some of his possessions. In the truest sense of the word, it is a garage sale because it's not in a yard like a lot of self-proclaimed garage sales. It really is inside. A garage. Even though everyone's trying to stay as close to the wall as possible to take advantage of this little shaded area, it's about to get very sunny shortly as I make my way a few feet forward. There is no hiding from this very heat drenched Southern California rays of the sun. Unless I were to hide maybe in those news vans, they pro that's probably frowned upon. People are already starting to load up. I wonder if there's going to be anything left once I get in there. Peeking in the window, looks like that's Kit from Knight Rider sitting in there in the nice cool AC. Okay, look at the inscription in the concrete there. There's his name. And then a little closer over there, there's the that emblem right there in the pavement that needs no introduction Batman. and he has his guitar next to him that cardboard cutout it's the bat guitar right there at his feet is there something in there or is it just the box it's cool in the garage Nice. Put that up in the garage. It's, uh, yeah, put that on the wall. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. 350 in Texas. Thank you. That is cool. It's huh? a great item. Let me turn it another way into the light. I think I got it. That's awesome. A skull dragger. You must stay bathroom breaks and AM PM okay. So you can use the bathroom and whoever consumed all this, definitely gonna have to take advantage of that rule. This classic truck just pulled up. Pay close attention to this Hulk. Let me zoom in on him. He's just looming there 
watching, waiting. I wonder what he's thinking right now. Here's some boxes of promo photos with the Donnie and Marie mobile around the back give some specifics. World-renowned figure for many years in the automotive and specialty field. It's been associated with movies for over 30 years. Of course, this photo was taken quite a long time ago. Finally in, first thing I notice are all these tubs of posters where you can get a lot of the different vehicles and hang them on your wall if you so choose. There's like tons of them all through here and even some old movie and film posters in this section. A little Back to the Future action. There's Marty McFly there. You guys are buying it? No, no, you want it? Yeah, it's right there. There you go, man. Yeah, I already got one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's all yours, man. There's a Mag Wheels right here. And that's, the, that's what it looks like, but there's like a whole a whole bunch of them down in there. All right, now we're getting into, we're getting into the good stuff. The nitty gritty, if you will. Oh yeah. Oh, just a couple smalls, really. Uh, you got Mr. Freeze here. Yeah, That's Mr. right. Mr. Freeze. I'm not letting you put me in the cooler. And you got the, got the Riddler, Riddler here. Bobblehead. And what's this? Uh, bat missile. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Check out all the eight by tens here on this shelf. And we even have some postcards and stickers. As expected, just an overload of Batman paraphernalia. That's the Batman Returns. It's like a, that's almost like a pencil case of some sort. Are there pencils in there? Real performance machines. You could have a lot of fun with this stuff. You could definitely fall down a deep rabbit hole. Got a few penguins down in there just hanging around. And over here, there's a couple DeLoreans. Oh, even some, uh, some trading cards. Crime Alley, the Bola Bullet, and even the Umbrella Jets. Even a few of these he signed right up there in the top left corner. We'll put it in the box. Okay, great. That's nice. <laughs> Basically, Top Gun on a racetrack. Pretty good assortment of Hot Wheels. You got Slimer down here promoting this Ghostbusters item. And check out that Toys R Us emblem. It was $1.99 and now they're they're selling it for eight, but I think it's probably worth it. The Halloween season is upon us. This would be good to throw on top of your on top of your ride, cruise down the road with the spider and light illuminating. Serious nostalgia throwback. We got some Dick Tracy cardboard cutout action. And speaking of cardboard cutouts, I know that guy. I recognize him. Oh, that's awesome. Got the Warren Beatty action kicking. That is cool. How much do they want for that? That's still one in there. I think 75. 75 bucks? I know. I just look at that. Crime is the disease. Nice. Monster Squad. It's on like a, it's basically on a piece of wood. Of course, you have to have the General Lee. Quite a few of those. I do love me some Robocop. However, he's missing his arm. Some Ecto goodness. We got the three. We got the 500 and more Robocop stuff. We got the Ultra Police and the Robo One. I did peek in the window from the other angle, but this, this is probably a little bit better view. There it is, the Batmobile. When's the last time you saw something from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? I have to admit, it's, for me, it's been a while. It reminds me of something you'd see under the Christmas tree in the late 70s or 80s, that big box down there. Dude, nice. That's a good one. Dude. Little Chuck Norris. That's cool. Does that gun have four barrels? It does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a serious That's weapon. That's the only way to go, though. I mean, come on now. Celebrity rubber ducky. It's Michael Jackson, but he is, he's a rubber ducky, so you could like bathe with him. You see like he's in the shape of a duck. I'm not kidding, it's like right there it says celebrity ducks, the pizza wagon. It's the same as that. Just called it two different names. Yeah, you can see the sun trying to make its way through the top of my umbrella. I'm like creating my own shade while waiting in the line to purchase my items. This truck bed here, 
is also for sale. It's a 1928 hot rod body for $5,000 or, or best offer. I had no idea that Jackson 5 were such unlaw-abiding yeah. citizens. They, they've run down a police officer. See, just <laughs> yeah. like, look at yeah. this, there's a cop there and they're just oh, like, gosh. coming through, copper. <laughs> coming through. I used to have one of these for my Star Wars figures, but there's one for a different franchise. You can put all your characters in there and, and hold it right by that handle. At first I thought this was an inflatable, but it's a it's a tent. And you could climb inside that thing. Oh, dude, that would totally be me right there, man. That would be you? And would that be me right there? That would be you because you're taller than I am. Okay, so that would be you. That'd be me. Inside there. See nice. Nice. Yep, I see the I see the resemblance. A battle to the end. Some rock'em, sock'em. They're not robots. It's the penguin. I just now noticed right there on the wall is a is a very large photo of Liberace, as well as some old movie posters. 1965 Sonny and Cher Mustang. We got the the vehicle from the movie starring Warren Beatty. Bonnie and Clyde, the super van over here. Something known as the, the junk man. This one from the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, even in the Steve Martin movie, The Jerk, this belonged, was created for John Wayne. Just an incredible amount of, of history. Emilio Estevez there on the left, and the repo man. We got Mad Max and then some very old school documentation all along here. And just real quick, like I'm gonna step out of line. I just want to show you. I want to show you the showroom. I can't not I can't go any closer than this because they have it stanchioned off. But check those out. Didn't realize it till now, but this gentleman's name is Steve. He has it tattooed. Well, I, I'm guessing that's his name. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, the Hulk has a Steve tattoo. The crowd has dissipated quite a bit from the front of the building. It's because they're all indoors for good reason. Because there's a lot of good stuff inside there. In fact, I got a, a box full of items right down here. Picked up this poster book with some cool 11 by 17 shots. Pretty nice, as well as the cereal, which I will not be consuming. It's just, you know, it's just as like a something to put on a shelf to look at. It's got a free bank that came with it. I also got some Back to the Future stuff. I've never seen this hardback, so I had to definitely grab that. And speaking of Back to the Future, all these, here's another one that I had never laid eyes on before. If you do this, there it goes. Dun, dun. Da, da, dun, 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 dun. Trading cards. This is from Universal Studios. This keychain. So that was a must. And of course, there's another one. And I have quite a few DeLoreans, but this one I never had in my possession till, till now. I just think it's so neat that down the back of the alley behind the business is this mural right here directly below the road up above at the end of this street. There's a parking cone there. This parking spot's reserved for the Batmobile. As a good tie-in, we're heading over to the Batcave now, where the original Batmobile pulled out in the intro of every episode of the original TV series. Whoa, that guy's driving like Batman. There it is. A little bit of a hike up here, but not too bad. And do a walkthrough. Of course, they had a bunch of makeshift foliage for the television program. They kind of pulled back and the car careened basically towards where we're walking. He's going in. He's going into the darkness. They hightail it out of the back cave. This would have been the view they had as they drove straight out. And then they took a sharp left and down that hill. And the show began. Been out here a few times before. It's always quite the experience. I think that's like a smiley face. 
Yeah. There's the mouth and the eyeballs. Right there. Nailed it. This would be the less photographed side. The cave empties in two sections. This one and then the opposite area. And I'm also noticing someone devoted a heck of a long time to creating this labyrinth. It's not a maze. The difference between a maze and a labyrinth is a maze has different possible ways to go through where a labyrinth, you go from point A to point B. So I'm pretty sure this would be considered a labyrinth. So if you leapt over one of these walls and followed it around, eventually you would make it to the center. I'm gonna give a little walk through here just so you kind of get the depth and length of the cave itself. We were just out in that area, just to the right where that labyrinth was. And now we're heading back in the back area. It's really, really cool in here. The formations all along the ceiling and the sides and a lot of hikers come out here. It is open to the general public. And if you take a sharp right, you will see another section with the sun kind of protruding through, making my way back out. The front, the mouth of the cave, if you will. Oh yeah, nice shot of the sun gleaming down. Adds the proper ambiance. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop and update on id. Man, the heat is, the heat is really getting to me. I, I cannot talk. I meant to say it will keep them in the loop and updated on future endeavors, adventures I will be going on, as well as uploads that will happen on this channel. The vlog is over. Done. Almost there, don't stop, don't give up. Keep going. We're almost there. All right, we made it, we're there. We made it to the center. We did it. Now what? We gotta go back. All right, let's go back. Follow me. This way? Yes. Continue around. Don't get dizzy though. Okay. If you get dizzy, you'll fall over. And then I do not have to go back around again if I go into the other spot. I don't know if that's part of the rule, but I have to like strap you on my back. Give me like my yoga. So desolate out here. I'm, I'm kind of scared, but you know what? I'll be honest, I'm not that afraid. Oh, you help me. Help. 